Howdy! Welcome to another episode of Wicked Reality Gaming Play Street Fighter! Once again, we've got True versus Swift Baby getting their controls set up. Likely gonna have uh, Kareen Kanzukia versus Blanca, unless anything changed. Uh, I'm Beans, this is Ten, and let's get right back into it. What do you think we're gonna see, Ten? I'm honestly unsure of what we're gonna see. I haven't seen these two really go at it much. Not as much as I've seen you and True go, so this is gonna be kind of interesting for me as well. I'm predicting Blanca is going to turn into a ball sometimes, and I'm predicting Kareen is going to do her little laugh thingy that she does. Are you, are you really certain about that call there? I, That's uh, really yeah. cold. <laughs> this is such a cursing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I really love that loading screen. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That's because of Fortnite. Entirely oh because of Fortnite. I don't know why they that. <laughs> as bad as it is, I think it's hilarious. That Ryu grin is an emote in the Discord now. <laughs> oh my god. I did that personally. Please, yes, I need mean, that. Uh... <laughs> okay. That's good aggressive Blanca advance, but no follow up. Ooh, okay, not letting true control the side of the screen. Oh, both of them are really looking for those hard openings to get in. They're giving themselves a lot of wide berth right there. A lot of jumps right now. Both players really kind of trying to test each other's capacity for dealing with anti-airs. This will probably slow down a bit once they get more accustomed to each other's playstyles. And wow, yep. Green takes one opening and uh, that's it. The one thing I want to see out of this game is a soccer ball skin for Blanca. He's just a ball, no limbs, just ball. I like Blanca Chan. Blanca Chan's one of my favorite skins in the game, period. Oh, absolutely. Plushies of this, are you kidding me? I really kind of wish they do a bit more with Blanca in the storyline. He's just kind of out there selling his plushies and Ryu and Guile are saving the world again. And Kareem is taking things right now. That was almost half the day right there. Yeah, that's what that character really thrives on. She's got like really indomitable footsies and if she's got meter, she can do a third of your health on one opening. But she's really technical, so you can't mess it up. That was a ridiculous catch on the land. Oh, okay, is that oh it's not over, but ooh. Yeah. I think I think he had another button where he could have finished that while he was still in the air. I don't really know Blanca's uh V trigger well. I don't know Blanca well at all, honestly. I probably should, given how much I struggle fighting this character. Look, all I've seen this character is jump and ball. He can move a lot compared to other characters and not really get punished for it. He and Rashid can just kind of zip around and do whatever they want. Okay, that's the stun. Yep. Ooh. That, that this stun is the fight. Okay. No, no critical art from Kareen. I was kind of hoping for it. I just like the laugh, man. Okay. This is the first win. First win. Round one. Let's see how the rest of the just play out. See if they got any better taste for how they play. Uh, against Kareen, you really kind of have to be patient. This is a character that, because of she's got a good walk speed and she's really dangerous and has a lot of conversion roots. Kareen is uh, really frustrating about actually dictating the pace of the match. A lot of her buttons are really safe because she can just weave in and out. So you really have to actually respect her and kind of just hope, hope, hope she spaced something wrong. Otherwise that happens. Uh, yeah, it's going hard in. My man is not really dropping these combos. You think you can punish her a lot, and you can't. She's, uh, her kicks are just really well spaced. And then instead of just, okay, well, get off me, here's a two, three hit combo, she's got combo conversion roots out of like even the slightest hits. And then that V trigger just turns her into a different character. Round two. 
She really thrives off on a character that just kind of like goes too fast. Which is kind of what we're saying. I mean, Blanc is supposed to do that. But if Kareen just keeps her cool and doesn't get overwhelmed by ball or command grab. That's a great pace breaker for Blanca. You can feel like you're in control of the match and then that happens. Okay, he's ready for it. Looks like though. True was giving him just a little bit too much space right there where Swift can just kind of throw something down. So. Oh yeah, okay. True really loves always uh, kicking low when he uses that B trigger. It was kind of sucking me out when I was playing because I'm like, oh, is he going to do it again? Does, does he expect me to block low so he's going to do the overhead? Especially notice at the end that you were crouched uh, blocking a lot there just to yeah. be able to try and catch that. Yeah. Well, in general, too, Bison is really vulnerable to sweeps because of his movement speed. Uh, unlike a lot of other characters, it's really... He, I can't walk out of uh, sweep range. I, I have to backdash out of it, which puts me in counter-hit state. Oh, oh, that was oh, an wow. excellent follow-up. I don't know if that's... Uh, I don't know if that's the optimal crush counter for Blanca, but it was still pretty good. He just didn't keep control of the match after that. That stun bar is getting high. Making me real nervous. Alright, and all Swift's gotta do is back up just a little bit. And, you know. We got full meters for both of them. V meters and critical meters. Okay, that, wow. Wake up DP. Yep, excellent. Ooh. Uh, and he just let his guard down. Like a wrecking. That one hit. You kind of kind of hate seeing a game end with full meters from both players, though. Give me some critical arts. Something tells me something flashy is gonna happen in this round. I just feel it deep deep within my bones. The critical art it approach. It approacheth. It's not the commentator talking loud enough for the players to hear, so we can see something flashy. But not at all. <laughs> All right, this is, yeah, Kareen just controlling the match. Sometimes they just go this way. Oh, oh, wow, ready for that. Okay, ooh, Ooh, got that. himself out of disadvantage with this that. This is working. I don't think that was a normal string, but he made it work. Yeah, even that game was quick. Ah, uh, Kareen's Not back in control. Matters. She's doing what she does, yeah. With the heal. All of those, the, the girls especially with those standing heavy kicks, Sakura has one. Uh, those standing heavy kicks can just completely break your spacing. And they'll crush counter most of the time. Cody, I think, has a standing heavy kick like that. A lot of characters can just, oh, you thought you were out of range, standing heavy kick, crush counter. Yeah, that, that there. He's got a great sweep too. Really long range. It's better than the Shoto sweep. It's not safe if you whip it, but it's safe enough that it's kind of hard to punish if you didn't read it. Is it just me? Is he continually breaking these grabs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you get used to uh, players that like to grab a lot, like I grab a lot, uh, you'll get predictable. And you'll, people will just start instinctively teching when you get close. And then that turns into a whole reverse psychology situation of, oh, well, this time I won't grab you when, and you'll get a counter hit. Okay. It's close. I see some nope. knees being broken. Nope. Let his guard down. Just, I mean, that happens with Kareen all the time. It's like, oh, is it my turn? Nah. She got more strings. This character is actually like really interesting since she's supposed to be like Sakura's foil and she's not just another Shoto, she's supposed to be Sakura's kin. But then she like has a completely different approach and playstyle to like sort of the same kind of if Ryu's defensive, Ken's aggressive. If Sakura's defensive, Kareen is very aggressive. <laughs> she doesn't play anything like Sakura even though they're supposed to be counterparts and I think that's great, honestly. Honestly, had no idea that it was at all with the way that uh, yeah she uh and in the war she like looks up to ken and treats ken as like a mentor may or may not be into him in the same way sakura is into ryu hmm. but yeah if they were ever to make like if they were ever to take ryu and ken out of the series they've replaced them full stop with sakura and kareen as the two leads would that be such a bad war 
Yeah, they already tried that with uh, Third Strike and people hated it. Oh, well. <laughs> Hey, let's, or well not third, sorry, just three of uh, the new generation. They tried to take all the old characters out and nearly destroyed the franchise because people were so mad that they'd spent years at the arcade learning Guile and Guile wasn't in the game. You know what? Well, that, that's fair enough. The anger from the half Oh, that, that is nasty. What's frustrating about that is it has that ending where he throws you and you know you're dead. You just have to wait to hit the ground. And the goofy smile at the, at, that's just like, Lights of fire in my you, soul. you can't hate Blanca's facial expressions, even if he only has the one when he's Blanca Chan. <laughs> Blanca is sincere, honest, and he is a very good boy. He didn't do anything wrong, he just wants to live in the jungle and sell his plushies. The many faces of Blanca Chan. Blanca's great. He he is one of the most wholesome characters in Street Fighter. But with my limited knowledge, I, I, I've always fallen by Blanca knowing his story. Yeah. He's a nice dude. Not his fault he got in a plane crash and turned into a horrible monster. But he learned how to make money off of it, so... I, I, I think that's literally the definition of success. Hey, I'm yeah. in this bad situation. Let me make some money off of it. He, yeah, he really did make the best out of a bad situation. And yeah, he got yeah. cool lightning powers. Yeah, like that. Made the best out of the situation in this match. Yeah, that's great. He's, he's being patient now. That's the big thing. Mm -hmm. We're just seeing games go back. And... That was great. He's letting True overextend and then doing Blanca things. Reading this character is so hard. So much to his anime, as I can tell. It's hard for me to be able to process as someone that's played mildly. As a Zongief main. <laughs> This character, I, I I would genuinely be curious to know what people think about the Blanca versus Zongief matchup. I feel like Blanca probably wins it just because he can move more. But Zongief always surprises me with his love of country. He does have a funny side and that will sway battle anytime. Of course. Ooh, that was a beautiful crush counter. That was extremely brave. And that's keeping control of the match. For, there's that stun bar. That's it. That's a uh, textbook over. Kareem. He's nah. just playing with the food. Yeah, that when you get desperate in the corner against Kareem, it's just she's just gonna back up and then use one of her long moves. Some good spacing, and you're just stuck. It's a, it's guessing. When you're in the corner versus Kareem, it's all guessing. I'm gonna make a comment. My girl's hands are as big as her torso. That's uh, <laughs> that's a design decision in Street Fighter. All the characters have oversized hands and feet, so you can uh, keep track of them better. I've actually noticed that. And characters' body types are typically proportioned to emphasize how they fight. That's why uh, Zongief is a slab of meat, and then Chun Li has you know legs the size of tractors. Well, now that, that, that's game design. Well, not character design. <laughs> uh, character design 101. Yeah, it's pretty smart. It, compare it to, say, Mortal Kombat. I mean, if I'd never heard of the franchise, what are my clues that Sub-Zero uses ice other than he blew? <laughs> what other things do you need? Yeah. Blue man, shoot ice. You show me Johnny Cage, I don't know how... I have no clues to Johnny Cage's fighting style. I would like to see Sub-Zero's name change to Kelvin. <laughs> That's actually really good. <laughs> I'm just thinking, why isn't that a thing? Yeah, that's really smart. We'll make a we'll make our own uh, fighting game, and we can have a blue ninja named Kelvin, <laughs> and he will absolutely be Dollar Store Sub Zero, and that'll be like part of the joke. Oh wow, that was a crazy jump in. I guess that move Wonka used just doesn't anti air. Okay, we got full bars again. Just about to mention that uh, True's been letting up on using that bar again. He's starting to pay for it. Okay, uh, Swift is in control, but if he misspaces something, oh mm, wow! Like yeah, True had no options there. Swift bought he bought the uh, frame advantage, and True was just locked into his move. That's the cool thing about V-Shift. It's similar to what you could kind of, or with V-Trigger, it's what you could sort of do with 
focus attack in Street Fighter 4 where you don't necessarily have to use it, like actually use the move itself. Sometimes the frame advantage is, all, is enough. And that's even even more... That, that, maybe that's an even stronger tool sometimes than the actual benefits of the move. Like, people weren't really using focus attacks. They were using focus attack dash cancel in 4. And in this game, it's like, yeah, your V your V trigger's great, but sometimes it's better used as a combo extender or to buy frame advantage. It's a neat it's a neat system. I really am curious what they'll replace it with in Street Fighter VI because they always replace everything. Wow, that's a great sweep. That is. Uh, it ex put yourself a little bit forward too. Yeah. I think yeah, that, that's a sweep that beats Kareem's. I guess technically mine does too. Mine just puts me at major disadvantage because I actually slide in. Mm -hmm. They nerfed that thing too. My sweep is now even worse. They added uh, more startup frames and more in lag because a lot of Bison mains were just using just that move in like silver. Oh, I love the people that just spam one and ruin it for everyone. Bison is absolutely, I mean, the Bison mains of this game are the Bowser mains of Smash and Ranked, where it's like they're the noob stompers. Don't talk to me about that. <laughs> All right, don't talk about my boy. You got a good Bowser, but I mean, I'm going to be honest, he's not hard to reach Elite Smash with. No. People don't know how to fight him. That is true. That is very true. I, I cannot disagree. Ouch. Uh, yeah, that was, that was good. That jump in didn't quite work. Okay, we got a full bar again. We'll, we'll see if uh, it gets used. I actually don't know how you, if Blanc has got one of the charge supers or if he's got a command super. It's kind of irritating that Bison has a command super, whereas almost all of his moves are charges except for one. Ooh, okay, okay. Ooh. And to the corner, too. That was great. That was solid. Okay, but True's fighting his way out. And Kareem there it is. is. making it work. Yeah, that's what I mean. Kareem's got that, those kinds of combo roots out of it. Anything. The character's got confirms for days. Oh, that was extremely brave. Okay, whoa, that was a great block. No punish, punish sweep. Risky. Tried to keep his turn going. Back to even games. Looks like we might be here for the full nine, boys. I need, need it's not even, it's not even. Not yet. We're four three. I need a college course on Blanca on how to read this character. <laughs> hey man, this course is definitely gonna be a college course at some point. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Street Fighter 2, that'd be that'd be a cool course to teach. Oh, Fundamentals okay. of game design. Oh, absolutely. Wow. Oh, and, and he did it again! <laughs> Is he gonna do it again? Works the first time. It'll work the third and fourth time. Like I said, my prediction is Blanco will turn into ball. Okay. Oh, oh, great job. Barely. Man, wouldn't it be cool if Zangief had a full screen command grab? I would love that. <laughs> Zangief just leaps across the screen and grabs you. Ooh. Oof, just methodically just pulls him apart. That's what Kareem does. He's stuffing out of him. He's got a full bar too. Uh, Swift will likely have a full bar and a few hits. Ooh, ooh, I'm surprised Drew did not confirm off of that. If Kareem can. Keeping his uh, distance here. He is really just going in for those light taps and coming right out. Yeah, it's pushing Swift into the corner too. Bad. Okay, no follow up too far. Okay, there it is. There it is. Double crush counter. Solid hit. Okay, wow. Nope. Punish the feet. All right, what's he going to do? He's losing stage. And he's getting pushed further into the corner, and Kareem's got both meters. But he's got the life lead. Oh, that was. Wow. Why does that work? Ooh, okay, is that the... I'm surprised we didn't see a full combo route come out of that. We'll see in this round if... Uh... Oh, good jump, good jump. You get three frames of invincibility on jump, so that's why it's, uh, it's probably the best way to deal with command grabs. Jump on wake up is how you stop Zongief from just abusing you. Okay. Uh, we, 
and we're in the corner. Let's see how it goes. Invincible DP? Nope. He could have done it. I'm expecting to see a stun here. Yeah, the bar's getting high. All right, just raw activation. He wants the... Ooh, oh, he's, he's ready waited. for that. Okay. What we got? I think True's got some punish windows here. He just doesn't know where they are. It's kind of scary against Blanca. I mean, can you tell me where they are? Because no. I certainly don't see them. No, I don't. I don't know when I'm allowed to hit Blanca. <laughs> All right, that's the set. That, True that pulls it out. It. Good patience. All right, uh, that's that set. We'll be back with another momentarily, probably. Thanks for tuning in.